Welcome back, just Chili Davis, and I'm back to another video. I want to welcome back all my subscribers and welcome to my new viewers. This is a channel where we talk about my top stocks. We also talk about crypto and creating other passive income. Okay, so uh, if you're new, please click the subscribe button uh, to get my frequent updates. Click the notification too. Um, well, today the market was down again. Another uh, buying opportunity. The Robinhood was down 5.85%. Um, again, it's no shockers. The shorts win. So the people that were shorting the QQQ, uh, this is the NASDAQ stocks, they were up again. In fact, uh, the short QQ was up over 18% today. Uh, I've talked about this in previous videos. Uh, this is the shorting of the NASDAQ. It was up 18%. Again, the Fed has no way of controlling inflation. So what does he do? Or what does the Federal Reserve do? They raise interest rates. And, and that effect will take at least three to four months to start affecting inflation, to slow people down from spending. Because inflation is nothing more than people buying stuff and actually the demand is higher than what is actually available, okay? So that means people are trying to go buy, let's see, motorcycles and cars and stuff, but there's not enough cars on the lot. So guess what the, the car dealership, he, call, he charges more for those cars or goods and services, okay? So again, uh, the NASDAQ was down. So the short QQ was up 18%. The other VIX uh, index fund was up 25%. Again, as the market continues to crash, the UVXY will be up. Also, the short S&P as well was up 14%. So that's where all the money was made today. Those were the, st the top index funds. Again, this is going to continue to happen because it's going to take at least six months to bring down inflation. Okay, so if we go over to the stock market, we had bad news here. Target reported, uh, Walmart reported. Lowe's reported only one that reported good earnings was Home Depot. The rest of these, their stock fell over 10%. Okay, Walmart fell yesterday 10%. Target fell again today. And again, we see here stock futures rise slowly after Dow has its worst day. Okay, so that was the news today pretty much. Uh, the Dow fell, the S&P fell, the NASDAQ fell. And if you want to keep up to date with some of this stuff, you can always watch my private Facebook group. I post a lot of this stuff that's going on during the day. Uh, as the market is rallying, I was posting about the S&P UX that was up 9% earlier in the day. Also um, posted here was the VIX that was up over 12% today. As the VIX climbs, so does SQQ and UVXY. And the NASDAQ was falling today. So pretty much I keep people updated through the private Facebook group. You're welcome to join. Again, uh, if you want to see where the market is going, uh, continuously watch my Facebook group and also continuously watch my YouTube channel. So let's go back to uh, my other portfolio. As you can see, this one was down 5.92%. Again, Jerome Powell made comments yesterday about how he's going to continue to raise interest rates. He's going to continue to chop. So interest rates affects the average consumer when they want to go buy a home, go buy a car, go buy anything with a bank note. OK, credit cards, it affects everything. Everything goes up. All right. So not only do people have gas prices, food prices going up, now their credit card and their home loans are going up as well. Okay, so the top stock though of the day was, uh, uh, well, stock by itself was SoFi Technologies, was up 1.73%, which held on and made me a little over $17. Second place is the short QQ, uh, again, made me a little over $8 and UVXY and, and uh, third place as well, up 25%. And UPST was up slightly, the Upstar Holdings, which is good for Upstar cons considering they were $29 last week. I'm still holding the shares. I have not bought more yet. We are not out of the bear market. There is another shooter drop. 
and there's rumor that the Dow will fall another 10%. So not only has the NASDAQ fallen, on average, most stocks have fallen 20%. Now the Dow stocks will continue to fall as well. Okay, so UPST was holding its weight today at 0.73%, almost a percent. AV, AV or Aero Environment was up 4.45%. And uh, I think that's it. So pretty much these were the top stocks again. The short QQ and the UVX were winning big because the market volatility was up. Again, I showed that here. You can always check CNBC. It's not, you know, you can, anyone can read CNBC, but I did post them here in the Facebook group so people could see that the VIX was jumping over 12% today. And as that happened, the SQQQ and the UVXY just jumped. I mean, it, just, it didn't do nothing but keep going higher. I mean, that was this was the middle part of it. This was at lunchtime, and then um, this was by the end of the day, okay? So UVXY was up ultimately over 20%, and, and SQQ, the short of the NASDAQ, was up 15%. So those were the top stocks of the day. Again, um, this channel is all about, uh, you know, building your stock portfolio for the long term, uh, it's not really that much short term, but we're going to have volatility. So that's why I talk about the UVXY and the SQQ. Of course, not good to buy it while it's up. Only on really good days, you want to buy the UVXY. And on really good days, buy the short QQ. Okay. Also, if you want to know more about, uh, you know, learning more about passive income, check out my man, Stop Struggling Now, uh, Eric Bird. Uh, he has a channel uh, where he talks about crypto and many other uh, ideas about creating, you know, financial freedom, uh, whether it's crypto or it's uh, real estate or any other type things. Uh, also, we have plenty of people on this Stop Struggling family who know, okay, buy VEOO, uh, VOO. These are all Vanguard index funds that are on sale, just as I discussed earlier. This is the time to enter the stock market. If you saw my video yesterday, I talked about Warren Buffett just spent $3 billion on Citigroup and Paramount. Paramount is the streaming service. So this is the time where people become rich because what they do is dollar cost average. We're going to have six, six to nine more months of redness, okay? So this is not going away. This whole thing about red, this is not going away for at least six months. I mean, we won't have a few bear market bounces, but pretty much, you know, for the next six months to a year, we're going to have more days of red. You're going to see sporadically, you know, like SoFi and other companies do a, a short bounce. But for the most part, we want to see red for, for the next six or so months. Again, uh, the Dow has not dropped as much. We saw NASDAQ stocks drop, uh, the Shopify, the Tesla, the Apple, we saw them drop. Now we're going to be looking at the McDonald's and the Coca-Colas and the staple type companies start to take a hit. Until all that happens, the market will continue in the red. And a lot of this is due to inflation. OK, so Federal uh, Reserve Chairman Jerome Powell, all he only tool he has, which is a blunt instrument, is raise interest rates, which affects us all in so many ways. OK, so the market tumbles again today after yesterday's bounce. Um, Fed Powell said he's going to continue to raise interest rates until we get the employment right and we get the cost of goods and services start going down. So again, those things are dependent on the supply chain, uh, the China shutdowns, the Russia war, the, co the corn and wheat shortage, several factors going on right now that are delaying the market also. You got a current midterm election for many of the uh, congressional seats are going right now in Pennsylvania and Alabama and Georgia, all across the country right now. It's a it's a basically midterm election. So politicians are they don't care that the stock market is falling because all they want you to do is vote them in power again. You know, whether they're going to help you or not, they want to hold hold things down. OK, so anyway. Um, portfolio is down 5.85%. Again, another crash day. Again, um, 
a lot to think about. Okay, so this is the time to invest in Tesla. Tesla again was down today, uh, over six uh, percent. Look at it, just hit below seven hundred dollars. So again, I want to thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. Please like, share. If you like this a free stock, please use my Weeble link or my Robinhood link below. And everybody have a great night.